It's hard enough to work out what's going on in this world. How much harder then is it to work out what's going on in heaven? Who can know the intentions of God? Who can divine the will of the Lord? That's what the Book of Wisdom asks. Well, of course, left to our own devices, it would be simply impossible to know the intentions and the will of God. But we're not left to our own devices because God comes to our aid and lets us know at least something of his intentions and his will. Now, this says, first of all, that the real God does have a plan that embodies his intentions and will. Ours is not an unengaged God who looks the other way or simply doesn't bother with the world or with us. For the Bible, God does engage with the world, does engage with us. God has a plan and wants us to work with him in accomplishing his intentions. Our task then is to know the plan of God as he's revealed it to us and to work with God in accomplishing it. So what is God's plan? A crucial part of an answer to the question is given in St. Paul's letter to Philemon that we've heard. First, some facts. Philemon was a wealthy Christian and one of his slaves by name Onesimus has run away. After running away, Onesimus had bumped into St. Paul and had himself become Christian. Paul now wants to send him back to his master, though, as he says, not as a slave anymore, but as a dear brother. Now, Roman law was savage on runaway slaves. And if Onesimus returned to his master, Philemon was entitled to impose the full weight of the law. Now, however, Paul says, welcome him back as a brother in Christ, setting aside all that the Roman law permitted. With this, Paul overturns the entire system of slavery upon which the economy of the Roman Empire depended. He says implicitly that the encounter with Christ crucified and risen brings to birth a new ordering of human relationships a new social order. That's God's plan, to set slaves free always and everywhere. God wills an exodus that is forever and for everyone. Jesus says that the way of true liberation is renunciation, even of what we seem to depend upon, family, possessions, even our own life. Our true security is found in sharing the sacrifice of the cross. This is strange. Loss turns out to be gain. Death turns out to be life. But that's the logic of God that underlies his plan. The annual Catholic campaign takes its place within that logic and that plan. Each year, the campaign invites the Catholic community to help in accomplishing God's plan. There's nothing vague or dreamy about it. It involves money, yes, but money given in support of four very down-to-earth ministries of the church in this part of the world. I think of the Priest Foundation as a little like my walking stick, helping me to stay on my feet. The Priest Foundation offers retired priests like me support to cover a basic living allowance, health care, accommodation and the like. I do not know what the future will bring, but it is reassuring to know that the Priest Foundation will be there for me. The MacKillop Fund provides financial bursaries to some of our local families experiencing severe hardship. The money you're raising will help to support children who are experiencing very difficult childhoods and gives them the gift of a great Catholic education and a caring school environment when they really need it the most. Catholic social services play a vital role in the life of the church. 
Your donations to CentreCare's pastoral ministries ensures Christ's message of hope and love reaches the most vulnerable people in our community, often when they are in the greatest need and have nowhere else to turn. Gifts to CentreCare support hospital chaplaincy, prison ministry, Catholic psychiatric pastoral care, domestic violence protection, and outreach to those who need our compassionate care. As seminarians, we are preparing ourselves to serve the church and to bring people closer to God through the sacraments. Your generosity to the annual Catholic campaign provides a home for our formation and theological education at Holy Spirit Seminary. We want to be there to support you and your family now and in generations to come. To give a gift to the vital ministries of our church, please take some time to fill out the envelope at your seat. Please make sure to put your gift, even loose coins, in the envelope and seal it to ensure that your gift gets to these agencies that need your support. Don't forget, gifts over $2 are tax deductible and you'll receive your receipt in the mail. You also have the option of making a non-tax deductible gift and supporting grassroots Catholic ministries and parishes through the annual grants program. We hope you'll consider making a regular monthly gift in an amount that's right for you. Monthly giving makes donating easier for you, cuts costs for our charities and provides a reliable source of support. Thank you for supporting the good works of the church in South East Queensland. The annual Catholic campaign was intended to reduce multiple Sunday appeals to one single appeal. But the intention behind it goes far beyond that. In the end, the intention is to call the Catholic people of the Archdiocese into the unfolding plan of God, not just to help the needy, but also to help change bad systems and bring to birth a new ordering of human relationships, a society where brothers and sisters can embrace each other in the compassion of God. So I urge you to say yes to that.